Hi everyone, this is Motion Design in Blender and I will share you my ideas, tools, tips and tricks. I am Maysam Hosseini from GQB. I'm gonna start with simple shape to make prototype to show you how it works. Okay, we need to have a dense object with good topology. Nice gridded face. Let me show you. I go to modifier panel and add from generate category subdivision surface and set it to five. Again, I add the former and cast the former from the former modifiers and set it to one to have nice circle and now right click and convert it to mesh to apply all modifier to my cube <laughs> that is a sphere now okay let me name it the shape what am i going to do let me show you i need to move every face of this sphere along its normals from anywhere and then limit it by a curvy shape that I can make it by various texture like Bruno I, I, I don't know so I'm going to geometry nodes workspace and I start my noding okay I need new geometry nodes node group so I click new and as I say I need to move every vertices or every faces of this object along its normal so I need to add set position for this node as you see if I change the offset parameters of this node it moves whole vertices of the object across x y and z but as I say I need to move it along its normal so I need to add normal node to my node group connected to offset as you see my object is inflated seems to be scaled up now i need to add another node vector mass to my node group and now i can set it to scale and if i change the scale parameters my object seems to be scaled up and down or inflate out and inflate in <laughs> now i need to make my mask to control this set position node or this effect okay i can add Veronei texture i need to set some parameters for this set dimension to 40 and set feature to smooth one if i hold ctrl shift and click on this node and then to add a geometry slot Control shift click this viewer node show me what happened to my object by this node graph I need to add color ramp color ramp node to here and let me set this one exactly in middle of this ramp and add two color before and after and set each of them to black and uh, let me show you what happened to here I can set it to 0.48 and set it to 0.52 okay I need to add more detail to my object I need to add subdivision surface and and change the order of subdivision surface before the geometry nodes okay I can back to here and now I have more detail on my geometry to show what happened to its by this Voronoi texture node setup okay and now I set the color output to control this scale node to control this set position let's control X to delete this one wow very harsh effect don't worry I can control it by another shift D and add it to here a scale and I can set it to about 0.01 and as you see I can control the scale it inflate in or inflate out or scale in and scale out by these parameters I can change the W parameters of this object and have 
a beautiful moving line I can scale it this parameter to a scale curvy lines up and down but now I need to add another math node going to add mass simple maths not vector mass if I change it from negative 1 or negative 0.5 to 0.5 it can control fade in and fade out of this effect but now I need to export these masks for my material as I show you how you need to add shift a store name attribute to here I name it mask okay and connect the color of color wrap to the value of a store name attribute no as you see we have one two three four five six seven and eight node to set up this effect but let me show you how you can use this mask in your object material okay I split this section of viewport to two and set the right section to shader editor okay I can select this one and going to and add new material or you can just press this okay now I need to add material node name at rebuild because I store named attribute and I need to use it from here to here okay exactly the same name I can copy or I can type it it's as easy and paste this one to here and if I control shift and click on this node to directly connect to material output and set my viewport shading to material preview I can see this mask is exported from geometry node to my shader and now I can use this mask for combining anything in my shader editor okay back to my layout and change my upper section to shader editor to change something better and now I need to change input level of this subdivision to two or three okay now I can mix two material together by this mask okay two principal and shift a and mix shader to here and I need to add the color of this attribute node to factor factor of mixing this two principal okay add this one to shader one and add connect this principal to shader two and I can set the color of this to about set my viewport to render view I have set my render to cycles and now I can set it to GPU computing and reduce my max sample to 32 and enable denoising and now I can set my stage I'm going to here and now I have an area light stage plate and I need to change my object location to here okay I'm going to shader editor set it to word and add shift a environment texture and set it to HDR I, I don't know maybe it's would be okay and set color to background color going back to object mode of shader editor and set the plate color to about very dark gray after I set up my scene I'm going back to here to continue setting up my material I need to modify this mask shift a and add color ramp to here and I can setting the white and black color of this mask okay I can change this principal value metallic to 1 and set roughness to 0.3 I like it and now I can go into my geometry nodes I can change first black to 0.3 and last black to 47 a wider line golden line to here and set it back to 3 or 4 don't worry it works as good as you need it I think it is good let me make some room to here 
and I can scale this line down to the object. I can set it to negative 0.01. Another visual quality I am very interested on it. Okay, let me end this prototype making and back into my layout. I'm going to hide this spherical shape and show my master object. As you see, I have two shader nodes for my object, concrete material and a marble material here. For making this shader, you can go to 3D Punk channel on YouTube and you can find very amazing uh, procedural material making tutorial on this channel and use it in your projects. Okay, let's get started again and now we need to add make modifier to this hand uh, i can go into here and in modifier add geometry nodes and in the geometry nodes instead of new geometry i can add geometry nodes that i have made let me back to geometry nodes and i can name it uh golden line morph i'm back to layout and now I can mix every of this material with the golden line. As I show you later, I can add mix shader. Okay. And add another shader, principal BSTF shader. Principal BSTF for slat 2 or shade 2. And I can set it. Let me first set my golden line to here yeah, and metallic and a little bit rough mass for 0.3 for this mm, a little bit reddish yellow okay and now as I show you later you can add attribute uh, node to here for the mask mask the same name of my attribute that I have made in geometry nodes. Okay, and connect this color from attribute to factor of mix shader. Okay, it works. And now I need to modify this with color ramp. Color ramp, a little bit contrast to here. And now I can add subdivision surface to add a little bit resolution to my object and set the order before of my geometry nodes modifier okay and you can change the base material of this object to marble or concrete or any shader that you made okay let me set this level viewport to 2 and it is, works very good and now i'm going to show you how to animate this line in the geometry nodes disable this modifier and going to geometry nodes and select this modifier i'm going to set the object in the center of my viewport and now i can play with parameters of Voronoi texture let me set my timeline about 150. Okay, let's play with my effect parameters to make my animation. I'm going to frame 0 and set keyframe for add parameters to fading. And I can set it to about this. Press I on these parameters to make keyframe. I'm going to frame 15 and set it to 0. I. And now I have fading and I need to stay faded in and in frame 100 I again on these parameters and 50 frame later at the end I can add this to about here okay and press I again now we have fading stay and fade out but I need to uh, my line to move I'm going to frame 0 and set WP frame I on this and at the end I can set it to 1 I as you see the line is moving during my animation time 
And now I can change these black colors to white to make my object morph to golden material. Frame 100 and I can add I for this black bar, add keyframe and in the end I can set it to white and add another keyframe. Thank you to Geometry Notes. It works. You can add this uh, effect to everything that you use in your motion graphic. Okay, let me add a camera to the scene. Press Shift A, camera, add a camera. Press C on numpad. I can change the view to camera to view. And I try um, to figure my camera as I desire. As you see, I set my uh, resolution to 1500 and I go to scene setup and set the maximum sample to 62 and I press F12 to see single frame render of my scene. Okay, it is beautiful. I love it. It is very cool. At the end, you just need to set up your resolution, your frame rate and set the output pass wherever you want to save your render and set the format file format and press Control f12 to render all frames you can do this technique by other tools in blender like displacement map but in this video i want to show you this kind of animation by using geometry nodes to control it better and understand geometry nodes to use it for your motion design and motion graphics if you find this video useful please like it and if you want to watch more on this series please subscribe my channel and follow me thank you